Hi, sisters and brothers. Okay, so I'm coming on here. The Lord gave me a dream a few nights ago. Um, <laughs> very uh, uplifting dream, let me put it that way. So it's very simple. I don't remember hardly anything about the dream except for uh, this specific detail that he wanted me to remember and basically that he gave me the dream for. Um, okay, my brother's name is Jason. Okay, in the dream, there was several different scenes within the dream. Okay, three different times in three different scenes. Okay, uh, my brother walks into the room and just stands, you know, right in the front, doesn't say a word but just is kind of like um it's just like kind of like he was watching over the entire room whatever was going on i don't remember what was going on in each scene okay but but three separate times in three different scenes that's all he did he'd walk in the room and just stand there it was it, you it, and i had the feeling as there was just uh he was watching over the entire room all right so at first <laughs> Uh, you know, because the Lord let me get this on my own. Sometimes with dreams or, or, or things that he tells me, you know, he gives me the knowing uh, right away. He helps me understand it. This time, again, he kind of let me uh, uh, get to it on my own. And at first, I thought... Uh, that's strange because my brother we're, we're i'm not i'm not close with my brother um you know we we don't we've never really been close uh we don't talk very much you know and um so having a dream about him was just very strange and odd to me and i thought oh wow you know should i should i text him is something going on you know so i did and you know everything was fine but that wasn't what it was so the Lord led me to, <laughs> well, I looked up the meaning behind the name Jason, okay? It's a uh, Greek and Hebrew origin, and it means healer. The Lord is salvation. The Lord is our salvation, all right? Healer. So after that, you know, the Lord did lead me to the knowing that the dream meant you know, there are many prayers right now that are going out uh, for healing, uh, you know, for, for strength, for courage, for, <laughs> there's so many prayers going out right now. And many times it can feel like, especially right now, since, you know, we are still here, um, it can feel like he's not hearing us or he's not beside us. But he is. And that's what he wants me to speak on. That he is. And he is. He, he, his ear is turned to us. Okay. He does hear our prayers. Not only hears our prayers. He is overseeing everything. Oh, he's working everything out for our benefit and for his glory and in his timing you know so if you're praying for healing for yourself or for family members or for brothers and sisters in christ continue to pray but trust that he is going to do what you were praying for you know you have to continue to trust in him he is there. He is our mighty lion of Judah, and he is fighting for us, even when we don't feel it. You know, he is there by our side always, even when we don't feel him. You know, so, um, like I said, it was a simple dream, but the meaning behind it, it's deep and beautiful because he's always here. You know, and um, he is overseeing us all. He's watching always. He's always by our side because he is our mighty, mighty rock and our salvation and our healer, our deliverer. <laughs> the list just goes on and on and on. Manuel, 
for he is with us. You know, Emmanuel. Okay, brothers and sisters, I love you all so very much. Um, I don't know if I'll be making another video or not, you know. Um, <laughs> don't really know where we are. You know, no one does. And the fact, you know, no one knows when uh, the rapture will take place. So, but, you know, we have to keep our eyes on him we have to keep our trust in him we have to keep our lamps burning bright and our oil we have to have an overabundance amount of oil you know repent on a daily basis ask him for forgiveness ask him to remove anything that is not of him if he has not already done it and stay in him. Once you are there, stay in him. You know, I can't imagine, and I know all of you feel the same. I can't imagine my life without him. There's just no life without him. That's, you know, I love my kids. I do. I love my kids. I love my husband. But, I, I mean, I'd be devastated if I lost him. You know, I would. But could I live? Well, of course. I would be devastated. You know, crushed, literally, but I can live. I cannot live without my God. And I know each and every one of you feel the same. And that's what bonds us together. You know, we are bonded so much stronger than anything that we can think of because we are bonded through Christ Jesus and we are bonded for all of eternity. And that's why I know I was like, I love you all so very much. Any one brother or sister who loves the Lord God Almighty with everything they have, who would lay down their life, who would ride into the pits of hell if he asked. You know, anybody that loves the Lord that much, you are in my heart forever. We are bonded strongly. Okay. I love you all so very much. So if I'm led to get back on here, I will. If not, just remember that I love you and stay in the love of our Savior. For that is where we are strongest in Him. Okay, I love you all so much. Shalom.